Peter Hall joins us. An afternoon where we had some rain pushing through, but Peter, you know, pretty good news. The evening is looking a little better than that, right? Well, that's exactly right. We don't have a lot more rain to go between now and tomorrow morning, and I think a good chunk of tomorrow is also dry. You may not have noticed it because it was so windy, but temperatures were better today, and they're going to go up for parts of this weekend. Let's talk about those temperatures now. Tracking those numbers, the normal high for this time of year is right around 59, 60, 61 over the next seven days. Tomorrow's forecast high is right about where we were today, around 55, which is just a smidge below normal. And I think we'll be around or just a little above normal on Saturday, near 60. But then, well, take a look. We've got 70s for Sunday and Monday, and I have a feeling some parts of our area might even hit 80. The best chance of 80 on Sunday, Finger Lakes region. So maybe if you're going to Ithaca or Penyan, uh, maybe Aurora, Auburn, you've got a better chance there to get the warmest on Sunday. But I tried to delay talking about this. It is still April after all, and it's not just all 70s or else the normal high would be 70s. It's not. It's the normal high is 59 or 60. So you even it out and there you go. We're back into the doldrums again by next Wednesday and Thursday, way below average. Cold enough that I wouldn't be surprised if some flakes of snow return. First things first, on the Falls of Service Experts live triple Doppler radar, there are some sprinkles to our west that are going to still be coming through. Not a big deal, but don't be surprised if you see it. Once those sprinkles exit by 8 o'clock, one more opportunity right there. A very brief shower while you're sleeping. No big deal. Otherwise, there will be a period of some clouds that drift through our area tomorrow morning. And then I think tomorrow... Not quite as windy as today, just a little bit of a fresh breeze. Sun and clouds mixed and a high of 50 to 55 for many areas. Coolest along the shoreline of Lake Ontario. Saturday is our transition day between the slightly below average temperatures that we've had today and we'll have tomorrow and the way above average numbers we have Sunday. We've got a warm front that's going to have to come through. After a little bit of sunshine Saturday morning, there's some extra cloud cover building in and an opportunity for some afternoon and nighttime showers, I should mention, Saturday into Saturday night. But once we get this through, early Sunday morning, it's still possible there might be a brief shower and some clouds. But then take a look at what happens. Mix sun and clouds, and there you go. From Syracuse and Oneida Lake south and west, it should at least be in the 70s. And there's your better chance of being at 80 or higher, Geneva and Geneseo included. Now, those of you like Cooperstown, Utica, you know, Tug Hill and north and east, look, it's still a mild day, but it's going to be a little bit cooler there, 60s. But certainly Sunday into Monday is our warmest time period here in central New York. We showed you the tracking temperature map. It coincides with our seven-day forecast. It does get colder again. Planning ahead for next Wednesday and Thursday, struggling numbers. We'll have to keep an eye on a coastal storm. Right now, I'm hopeful that it misses us, but either way, we're getting colder, and there will likely be some wraparound rain and wet snow showers and an outside chance of some very light accumulating snow, especially over higher elevations, will keep you posted. Stanley Law Skywatch, still a bit cloudy on the Regency Tower camera, now back inside. All right, Pete, thank you. Coming up on NBC 